I'm Lucy Riley. Money Daily starts right now. Can Africa feed itself? This is a question that has been asked for decades, but no satisfying answer has been found to date. Currently, a record 278 million people in the continent are estimated to be facing hunger, according to the UN, as drought, COVID-19 and the Ukraine war foment a hunger crisis. The Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa estimates that Africa's annual food import bill stands at about 55 billion US dollars and could rise to 110 billion US dollars by 2025. Experts say the continent has enough fertile soil and water to meet its own needs, but there are many hurdles preventing this. At the just-concluded Africa Food Summit, Dakar, Senegal, development partners agreed to commit 30 billion US dollars to back the continent's resolve to boost agricultural productivity and become a breadbasket for the world. But will it be enough? Well, the BBC's Nicola Negos caught up with Patrick Verkujan, the CEO of the Global Centre on Adaptation at the Dakar Summit, and began by asking him, what is the solution to Africa's food insecurity challenge? Well, this summit here today in Dakar is extremely important. Why? Africa is in the eye of the storm of the food security crisis. Globally, 828 million people go to bed hungry, but a third of them are here in Africa itself. Partly caused by the Ukraine crisis, there is an inflation crisis, a debt crisis, a cost of living crisis, and on top of that, Africa is ground zero of the climate crisis. Nine out of the 10 most vulnerable nations to the climate emergency are here in Africa. This summit here in Senegal is trying to address these multiple emergencies a food crisis, a debt crisis, and a climate crisis. There's lots to play for here at this summit, but what we need are very concrete results. So there are different initiatives to fight against uh, insecurity crises, but can you talk to us about the AAAP, the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program? Yes, yeah, so during the presidency of uh, President Macky Sall of the African Union, he put on the table a plan called the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program. What is it? $25 billion over five years for food security, for infrastructure, for job creation. That's currently on the table and is being implemented. And we see already initial results in the last 24 months alone. $5 billion have been invested in the continent in climate smart agriculture. Why is that important? Increasing productivity in the agriculture sector, reducing vulnerability to climate shocks, and at the same time, this is a jobs agenda. As you mentioned, climate change has also been a major factor in the current crisis, but um, why do you think that Africans needed another summit to understand that agriculture is very important? So why is there a need for another summit well, the problems are clear. We know that people go to bed hungry in Africa. We know that agriculture productivity has to come up. But these summits are important as action forcing moment. We have seen here dozens of African leaders meeting with development partners, the private sector, putting concrete deals on the table. So I think this is an unusual setup. In essence, these are presidential boardrooms where heads of state and government come to the table and say, well, this is my plan, this is the prospect for you private sector, for you development partner to step in. So that's the expectation coming out of DACA, concrete deals, concrete financing flowing, and at the end of the day, concrete food on the table.